what is going on my people it is motionless here today we got a special episode this episode is just going to be about the new parts that i got and i got quite a bit so i am just going to cram it all this one video or at least attempt to uh maybe it had to be a separate video i'm not too sure we'll see by then i'm actually really excited to do this but i am not excited about uh that heat out there um it was raining and cloudy a bit ago and um i actually missed the uh, cloudy weather not the rain but the cloudy weather it wasn't like 110 degrees outside but but that's okay we're still going to be installing these parts i've uh, worked on the integra outside in the heat for plenty of times and it did suck but i did still do it i'm going to be showing you guys uh what i got for this car so the first thing we got let me uh all right, so the first thing we got is right here, NBC Motorsports uh, rear lowers. So I got these uh, for the Integra a while ago, and uh, I actually sold them for cheap. And I kind of wish I didn't do that because these are quite expensive. Uh, $300 for a Honda, yeah, but they are definitely worth it. Uh, these are really good if you want to like stand inside your car and uh, make it make the rear go a little bit lower than the normal normal uh, length uh, rear lowers. These are the extended rear lowers from NPC Motorsports. Here's the next uh, next few things that I got. Uh, I did get a pair of spindles from the junkyard quite a bit ago. And uh, these are going, actually going to be the ones I'm going to be fabricating and doing, cutting. Probably around like two inch to two and a half inch. I don't, I'm not too sure yet. Here's the next few things that I got. I got some, you know, eBay special uh, toe arms, camera kits, and just some uh, ball joints that are going to go into here. So I did get these. Uh, you don't really need any uh, like specific brand uh, tarms or camera kits to do, you know, like a big camber setup. You can kind of just get the cheap ones. Uh, the only difference is, uh, I think, is the bushings that are on here. They're not that great compared to like higher quality ones. But that's uh, that's fine. So I already do have the uh, locking nuts off. So if you ever do want to uh, uh, have like a lot of camera in the rear and you have a Civic or Integra with this setup right here, you take out the locking nuts and you cut the threads top and bottom so that these two will thread in uh, more into the middle piece. And that what that is what uh, gives you more camber. And I did, of course, the, the uh, toe arms. You are going to need some adjustable toe arms if you are going to do like the camber setup. Just because uh, you can't really uh, do your alignment without adjusting, without any adjustability. And these will do this. These will do just a trick. These were about these. Uh, both these things were about like less than thirty-five dollars each. But. Like I said, it doesn't really matter what brand you get. Just, uh, you know, get something from eBay, Amazon. Doesn't really matter. I did buy this uh, pipe right here. So let's just compare the differences between a three inch. This is like a three inch right here. This is what I have on the car currently. And this is a three and a half. This is a three and a half. So it's a bit bigger. Maybe this will, maybe this will be a better comparison. Right here, uh, three inch to three and a half. Yeah. So I kind of want to do like a uh, dual blast pipe setup, where it's a three and a half. That might be a bit overkill. Well, not really overkill. Just a bit too much. But I think it's the right size. I didn't get a four because I knew that was gonna be way too big. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna be uh, doing that as well, making uh, dual blast pipes for that. 
Alright, excuse me for the mess around here, but I did get a rear uh, lip, rear bumper lip. Um, I do plan on getting uh, mud flaps uh, eventually, I think that look, looks pretty uh, cool. But I am going to try the, uh, the lip, the lip look, the, uh, the rear lip look, and see if, and see if I like it. I am definitely going to have to, I am definitely going to have to, uh, cut this part, since it's way too small, and I'm probably going to have to cut, like, all around here to be able to fit the dual blast pipes. All right, here's the last thing. It is the wheels. All right, I know that uh, some of you might think, oh, Jared, uh, the reps. But honestly, I don't really mind rocking reps. Here they are, they are uh, BBS RS uh, replicas. I used to have some, uh, I used to have a similar setup like this on the Integra, which I'll show on the, on the screen right now but they were a lot deeper. They were like, I think a negative 20, and these are plus 20. So uh, the other ones had a way deeper lip, but those were sold out and I couldn't get those, so I kind of had to go with the second, you know, closest route, which were these, which is actually, they're called uh, Rota wired wheels. These are Accelera tires. Uh, this is my first time actually running uh, actually running these uh, this is my first time running these stretched I've only ran uh, federals uh, I ran Toyos before uh, Kata or Hata Hata racing something like that on eBay Hata racing tires those are really good for stretching too uh, but this is my first time doing acceleros these are of course 15 by 9 plus 20 and they have a three and a half inch lip the other one had a uh, the other ones that I had had a five inch wait can't wait to put these on see how they look so yeah guys uh, that is all I got for right now I do have uh, I did mention this I did mention this on the last video but I am getting some BC extreme lows for this car with uh, 18k and 20k spring rates it is quite uh, hot outside I'm not sure if I can even record uh, me installing everything without without this camera uh, just overheating itself because it's like 100 degrees outside what I'm probably just gonna do is I'm gonna show you the afterwards how everything looks I'm just gonna go right to it and get this knocked out all right see you in a bit all right guys here's how we're looking um, I gotta put back on the uh, this rear bumper but here's how it looks right now the front bumper just without the lip so I'm gonna put the old one back on show you guys that here's how it looks it's, uh, I did not roll anything no fenders uh, well I only uh, banged um, this side a little bit that's it the quarters are still the same the, the other side of the front is still the same and uh, if it's besides like one tiny bit of it, uh, one little area that hits the tire I'm gonna add the camber so it's not gonna it's not gonna really do much honestly it just looks really cool the rear needs to be uh, lowered a lot more, and then we're Gucci. I think the front, the front is pretty good where it's at right now. I uh, just need to add more camber, and of course the rear is like poke stance right now. Yeah, as you can see, uh, no rolling. Or anything like that or as I as I know I don't know if they rolled it before or not probably not because I still feel the strip the uh, strap and all that it's still on there but yeah it's like poking out a bit it's like poke stance and I don't really want to do that 
So I gotta lower it more and camber it in. And we should be Gucci. Yeah. If these, if these were like uh, the girls that I had before in the Integra, the negative 20 to offset, then of course I would have uh, it poking out way more. I would, ha I would definitely have to bang it out the fenders and the quarters. So thankfully I don't have to do that. So yeah, I'm gonna get the lowers on and the camera kit to the rear done first. Then I'm gonna show you guys that. And here we go. Alright, here's the Integra. Um, currently taking off like of course the uppers and the tie rods, which are right there. I'm gonna swap it over to that car. Oh, it's so bright. I'm gonna turn it down. Swing over to that car. Alright, as you guys can see, we got some camera going on in the rear. I think I am achieving uh, both sides, negative nine, with just the uh, camber kits, and I didn't cut them. So they're just without the locking nuts. And this is how much I achieved. Uh, I do plan on going more, um, because it is quite like baby camber, and I do want double digit. So eventually I am going to be cutting these and putting them back on and getting way more than this. That's how it looks. It's looking alright. It's looking alright. I am going to be doing uh, dual blast pipes right here. So the single is not going to last long. As you can see, we are, we are getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere this car. I uh, just gotta do the front. But but yeah. Just gotta do the front of the car. Cause that's like negative three right there. Negative four maybe. But yeah. I'm gonna do that right now and uh see you guys later. Two thousand years later. How's it going, everyone? It's been some time later. It's been around uh, two weeks since I've last recorded that last clip, and a few things that popped up during that time, so I wasn't able to record uh, really anything after that. It's been about two weeks since that last clip, and I have done quite a few things. Uh, during that time period. I'm going to show you a sneak peek of the car for the next and last episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this build series as it is coming to an end. The last thing I am waiting on is the coilovers. Uh, it is taking some time to come here since I did order special uh, spring rates and so that's going to take some time to get to my house, get delivered to my house. Let's show you the sneak peek of the car for the next and last episode. See, she is quite a bit low right now. All right, this angle looks like better. So yeah, there she is. Oh.